Hey guys, your electronics fanatic here, and today I have a, another unboxing for you. Well, let's see where this one is coming from. Hong Kong, and I've got a little bit of disappointment for you. I uh, just made this video, and the freaking video file was corrupt or something so none of it was able to be downloaded so here I am doing it all over again so sorry about that it's already been open uh, I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry so but as you can kinda see I don't know if you've noticed it already you can see what it is on the outside of the packaging resistors and you already knew that from the uh, description in the uh, uh, upper part of the video up there. But anyway, these ones are coming from Hong Kong and uh, I bought these off eBay and for those of you that don't know I'm a big eBay shopper. I like to buy stuff off eBay. I find that I can get some pretty good deals off there so you'll see a lot more unboxings from stuff off eBay but that's not the only place I shop but uh, I do like to check eBay first for a lot of items that I get and resistors happen to be the one that I got so let's go ahead and take a look at these this is the bag that they sent it in and looks like we've got our resistors there and a piece of paper let's see what's the piece of paper here set these off to the side for a sec open this up and it is a list of all the values of resistors that they sent me as you can see that's quite a bit all the way from 1 ohm right over here 1 ohm to 10 mega ohm so that's quite a, a range there I think I paid like six dollars or so somewhere around there for six dollars for these and uh, you know got quite a few 560 of them for right around sixty dollars or sixty dollars six dollars sixty dollars would be insane but let's take a look here even closer it says one quarter watt metal film resistors in an assorted kit so what are metal film resistors I thought all resistors were the same your electronics for that no there's all different kinds of uh, resistors and I'm not talking like values I'm talking they make uh, different types of resistors and some of you probably didn't know that but uh, some of you probably did so this is for all you youtubers out there that didn't know that resistors uh, were made uh, in different ways let's open this up here and I noticed when I did the, the video the first time that they had actually wrote on these and I wasn't expecting that you know they, they actually wrote the value of the resistor here let's see if I can get this to focus you can see you probably kind of see it's blurry there there we go that's a 22 kilo ohm but they they wrote on these I, I wasn't expecting that I was just expecting it to be you know all all packaged you know basically where they look all blank like this and you gotta look at the you know the color codes and kind of figure them out that way but for those of you that you know don't know how to read color codes to figure out the values of resistors you know that's kinda nice for them to do that you know how that would take freaking forever to do having to do all these like that you know and then they they sell like you know a hundred of these a freaking month and having to write all these out so I was a little impressed with that but not everybody's gonna be so thankful for that kind of thing but I thought it was kinda neat that they, they added that on there but yeah for those of you that don't know how to read color codes on resistors there you go it's already wrote up for you so Sorry about that, I got a little distracted, but uh, I thought I just really thought that was neat that they did that and the time that they put into it. But anyway, going back to uh, metal film resistors here. As you can kind of see, and you, you guys maybe have seen some of these on YouTube, but these ones are blue. You know, uh, that's how you can tell that these are like a, a metal film resistor, because they're, they're blue. They, they still got the color codes on them, that, which mean the same thing. That's not going to be any different. But uh, some of you, well, a lot of times, you know, most of us are kind of familiar with the uh, carbon composition style here. Uh, these ones right here that are got that uh, kind of 
kind of tannish look to them. And these ones are a carbon composition. These are more of like the first kind of resistors that came, you know, that were, uh, they started mass producing in, in manufacturing plants and things like that. And there is a difference between the two. You know, obviously, as you can kind of tell, these ones are metal film and these ones are carbon. That's kind of how you can tell what they're uh, made out of. But, um, there, like I said, there is a difference as far as, uh, how they perform and things like that but uh, the, let's start with the carbon composition usually the carbon composition have a a tolerance of five percent when I'm talking about tolerance uh, I'm referring to the uh, accuracy of the resistor like uh, you know it says it's a hundred ohm resistor it's gonna be within five percent of a hundred ohms is basically what that uh, five percent tolerance is is referring to and it becomes unstable at higher voltages than what it's rated for, or not what it's necessarily what it's rated for, but when it gets up into higher voltages, the stability of the resistor uh, with the, uh, these particular ones, the carbon composition, have a tendency to uh, 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 cause the uh, resistor value to go all wacky in and out from uh, the suggested, uh, you know, uh, accuracy that it has for each resistor there. The uh, metal film resistors, um, there's you know a little bit of debate on which one is better, the uh, the metal film or or carbon composition as far as when you're getting into using it for uh, you know sound and things like that. The um, metal film resistors have a tendency to produce a better sound, and it's newer technology. It's just a little bit better quality in the uh, compared to the the carbon. If I can get this to focus at all, there we go. Sorry about being so blurry there. Um, another thing with the uh, metal film resistors that a lot of people don't know, well, that you know, maybe they do know, but I don't know, is uh, the the tolerance level on these ones is 0.5 percent all the way up to uh, usually about two percent, somewhere around there. So it's a little bit more accurate as far as uh, the resistor value goes if you're really wanting to get uh, technical. Um, and, uh, you know, it holds up the heat better and things like that. That's uh, another difference between the two. So in, in the long run, as far as, like, people for, like, a hobbyist or just doing, you know, your home projects, things like that, there really isn't a difference between the two. They're both going to work uh, just fine you know for those type of uh, applications there really isn't a need to use the uh, metal film but it, you know it's just whatever you you have access to and what you can buy and, and things like that and in this case uh, I, I just found these on eBay can you know these ones weren't uh, at the top of the list per se as far as uh, resistors go this just happened to be what I saw so I bought these ones so that's just a, a short little overview between the difference of uh, the metal film and the uh, uh, carbon composition. And uh, if you want to, you know, learn more about them, you can always look them up on Google or whatever and uh, find out more information on them that way. But for those of you that didn't know, they do make different kind of resistors. And there's not just metal film and carbon composition there's carbon film and uh, quite a few different others that you can choose from it just all depends what you're wanting to use them for and uh, you know the applications but that gets into more when you start designing circuits and you know you start getting into more of the engineering aspect of uh, designing circuits and things like that but just for the general everyday person like I said these these will work out just great and you won't have any problems with it at all so uh, Appreciate you guys watching, and I will just see you guys next time. Bye.